Yo, what is going on guys? Johnny GB here with the Token Minorities, bringing you guys another Pokemon TCGO standard deck profile. You guys saw the thumbnail, we are going to be playing around with Scizor GX. So, Lost Thunder did bring us a couple cards that actually benefit Scizor GX. Uh, the deck I've seen struggles with a non-GX attacker, and thankfully we actually did get a non-GX Scizor in Lost Thunder, as well as a brand new Prism Star that actually helps out uh scissor very well so we're gonna go in here we're gonna take a look at the deck real quick what i'm running why i'm running and we're gonna take a look first up at ditto prism star if you play a stage one evolution line in your deck ditto prism star is an absolute must in every stage one deck zorark scissor uh off the top of my head septile uses it just to get to grovile quicker Ditto Prism Star is such a great Prism Star card to have in any evolution-based deck. I have one copy of the Orang Guru. Uh, this is for draw support, just because I do have issues drawing into cards I need. We have four copies of Scyther from Celestial Storm. So Scyther has the attack twin play, so if you do go second, you are able to get Scyther onto your bench. Also has agility for double colorless energy, 20 damage prevent all damage done to this Pokemon if you flip a heads. So then we have three copies of Scizor GX. So this was released in Celestial Storm. Has the attack Danger Perception. This does uh, 100 more or 80 more damage if you have 100 HP or less. So you're going to see here I have a couple texts for that. Uh, but you have Steel Wing does 80 damage and you take 30 less next turn. Crosscut GX does 100 damage. But if your opponent's Pokemon is an Evolution Pokemon, it does 200 damage. If you have 100 HP or less... You are able to hit up to 280, 310 with a choice man. You are taking everything in the meta out with one hit. And then I have one copy of the Scizor from Lost Thunder. Exoskeleton takes 30 damage from attacks. Very good ability to have because Scizors just like to prevent damage being done to them. And special blow. If your opponent has any special energy attack, this does 70 more damage. 130 damage is very nice. You're hitting stuff like Hoopa. You're also hitting stuff uh, like, let's see, Xerneas Break. but Or not Xerneas Break, Xerneas, but you're already hitting it for weakness. And 2 energy, very nice retreat cost along with its ability. Pairs well with Choice Helmet, which I do run in the deck. I have one of. So then we have Kartana GX. This is just special energy disruption. Your opponent has a... Uh, Zoroark on the bench with the double colorless energy, you play it down onto the bench and you are able to remove that double colorless energy. We have two copies of Delmize. Delmize allows you to do 10 extra damage, so now you're possibly looking at 210 damage if you have 100 HP or less, if your Scizor has a Choice Band and a Delmize. We have one copy of Marshadow for more just draw support disruption in my opponent's hand. We have one copy of Tapu Lele GX. So getting into the trainers here, four copies of Acrobike. Again, this is just deck thinning. I want to get to my important cards. We have two copies of Field Blower to get rid of any Shrines of Punishment. We have two copies of Great Ball to search out Pokemon. Four copies of Nest Ball to put basics onto my bench. One Rescue Stretcher, feel like it's always needed, along with four Ultra Ball, four Cynthia, three Guzma, two Lily, two Tate and Liza, and then a 3-1 of Choice Helmet and Choice Band. Here is the tech. So we have Potown. So the main reason I'm playing Potown is because the meta is revolving around Zoroark. How do we deal with Zoroark? Well, I would need a Choice Band, two Delmize, and be below 100 HP. Well, with Potown, my opponent evolves their Zoruas. They have Zoroarks now with three damage counters. Now then, I only need to have 100 HP or less either two Delmize or a Choice Band in order to knock out Zoroarks with Scizor. So I, I've loved Potown in the deck. It also helps me get closer to that 100 HP or less range. And then Energy, we have six Metal and four Double Colorless. So we are going to hop over into the Versus Ladder, see if we can go 4-0, and 3-0 with this deck. I know the last deck profile I did with the... Budget deck, I believe we only got one or two games in, but hopefully with Scizor we do get quite a few decks that are out there. Alright, so let's see, what are we playing against? We're playing against Water, Psychic, and Colorless. 
Uh, we're gonna call Tails because Tails never fail. Never mind, it does fail. Don't listen to me, kids. All right, so my opponent's going first. This is a deck that you're gonna see does not mind going for first or second. If you go first, you can load up your bench with Scythers. You go second, or no, you go second, you can load up your bench with Scythers. You go first, you can still load up your bench. So this is a deck, it doesn't really matter if you do go first or second. Uh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh, well, we're going to play Lele as my active, unfortunately. Oh, uh, that is really unfortunate. So my opponent is playing Tapu Fini GX, and he's playing Poipol. This is the Poipol from... Celestial Storm, I believe. No, that's not Celestial Storm. That is the Poipol from... Lost Sunder. That's right. That's the new one we just got. So, I'm um, looking at what I'm going to do here. Acrobike, I know, will be my first play to really just start getting um, cards that I need into hand. I need to get uh, stuff like Scizors into hand, Scythers, along with possibly Delmise. I'm not sure if Delmise helps me here. I know I do have a resistance to Psychic, which is not bad. A uh, card that you could potentially put in this deck, I would suggest Acerola, in all honesty. Uh, Alright, so we do have Acrobike, which is nice. We are going to get ourselves... We're going to get ourselves a Cynthia, because I may need to reshuffle my hand. We're going to play ourselves another Acrobike. Get us a Delmise. We're going to attach Double Colorless Energy onto... Ditto, uh, we're going to play Brooklyn Hill, or Field Blower to get rid of the Brooklyn Hill. And now we're going to play our said Cynthia that we added to our hand. I could have used Mars Shadow. Uh, we got Po Town. We got ourselves Choice Helmet, which is not, this is not bad. Nest Ball, Choice Ban. We're going to get ourselves a Nest Ball. Uh, we're going to get ourselves a Scyther. I almost messed up there and I played the Marsh Shadow. So, this is okay. Okay, opening hand. We did go through quite a bit of our deck. Um, I have potential to get a Scyther and he's just going to go bam right for the attack. Wasting no time. As he's going to get a Poi Pull out as his active. Uh, so, we're going to play the Lily right here. We're going to draw four cards. We get another Scyther. We attach a metal energy and we're going to energy lotto. Main reason I'm energy lotto is the deck thinning. I do have the Cynthia in hand if needed, which is good. I also have a rescue stretcher in case Lele does end up going down. He might just pass turn. I honestly don't know what he's doing here with this deck. Don't really know what his plays are. Got myself some tea. He's going to Aqua Patch, so he's going to have two energy onto his Tapu Lele. All right. Um, Tapu Storm GX could be a little bit annoying here later in the game. So I do want to set up another Scyther to get it going. He's going to Guzma in... Oh, he's just going to Guzma in my Scyther. Interesting. He could have Guzma in my Ditto. And really set me behind. Oh, wait. Hydro Shot. What is it? Discard two energy. It does 120. Do oh, my goodness. Welp. That really sets me behind. Because I put a lot of energies into that. Or resources into that. Ditto. All right. Well, we do get a Scyther, which is not bad. We're going to get ourselves a second Scyther, which helped me a little bit. Uh, I have an energy in hand. This is just really unfortunate. I'm going to put my other metal energy onto my other Scyther in case he does use that GX attack. I'm not sure what this deck this deck he's playing is supposed to do. So he's gonna Aqua Ring do 20 damage, that's fine. Uh he did get oh the choice helmet was on the ditto. Unfortunate for me. 
All right, so. We're going to play Lily, draw two, four cards, Ultra Ball. We're going to get the Ultra Ball here. That way I can just get going. We got a Scyther. And now we got two Scizor. We got three Scizor on the bench. We will be able to take out the Poipo, which is nice. We're going to claim a prize card. So we're going to even the score here. Uh, it's just not going the way I wanted to. I wanted to get that ditto set up. We do get a Rangaroo. Doesn't really help me. Uh, but here comes the GX attack, most likely. And if not, he's risking of being knocked out here. Because what is it? Discard two energy. This tells 120 to one of your opponent's bench. Or one of your opponent's Pokemon. So you can take out a Delmize, in all honesty. You can take out my Scizor down here. So all he's doing is sniping my bench, which is really unfortunate. Uh, his Pokemon is not an evolution Pokemon, unfortunately. We're going to play Tate and Liza. We're going to shuffle our hand and draw five. All right, so one... We are going to Steel Wing. Uh, he will probably pick off a Delmize next turn. He could also Ace Rolla. As he plays a Horsey to the bench. Okay, so he's not playing the Ace Rolla, which is nice. Uh, he could be random. He could play Super Scoop Up. I've seen that being played recently. I don't know why. He's going to Aqua Patch. So he's playing Kingdra, either Kingdra GX or just Kingdra. All right, so he's going to discard two. He has Articuno. I don't know what I am playing. It's giving me a headache. So he's going to get an Aganadel. So Aganadel allows him to attach a basic energy from his discard pile to his uh, bench. Or to his Naganadel, which is fine. Naganadel is probably something that can be splashed into every deck. All right, so I'm probably... Okay, so he's just going to use... I don't know why he's not using the GX attack. Well, it's not going to matter to me. I'm going to play the Guzma because I want to get rid of the Tapu Fini because I am fearful of that GX attack. It could disrupt me to where I am not putting myself into a good position. We will also take two prize cards, take the lead here in the game. And now... Looking at the way I'm going to win. We get a double colors energy, which is not bad. When we look at Naganodale's attack, oh, if you have three prize cards remaining, this does 80 more damage. If your opponent has three prize cards, we have three prize cards. Oh, that was a whooper, not a horsey. Oh my goodness. All right, so wash out. He can move energy from here to here, or from his Quagsire to his Naganodale, and then he can do 160 damage, but because I used Steel Wing, it's doing 130 damage, and because it's doing 130 damage, stuff is going to get smacked right now. He's going to Cynthia get himself a brand new hand. I am fine with that. I am not worried about that. All right. Uh, so what did he play onto his bench? Another Tapu Fini? Jesus, really? Another Tapu Fini onto his bench. Well, I'm not seeing any way he can really win. Uh, I have a pretty good position here. Unfortunately, I think I have one more Guzma. Which is not bad. Yeah, I have one more Guzma. I play two. So all he was doing was saving his Naganadel. He's going to move an energy onto here and probably just use his GX attack. Uh, he could also Aqua Ring. Is he just going to go for the 120 and take out a Delmize? I don't know why he would do that. 
Is he taking out Delmize or Oranguru? Uh, let's see. We're gonna put this onto here. We are gonna retreat because it is one energy cost. We're gonna bring in my Scizor because I do take out that uh, Tapu Fini now. And we are going to Steel Wing for the knockout. So now we're using Scizor's G uh, ability to its fullest extent, doing 210 damage. And we're at a point where we just need one more prize card to pick up a W as we get the Guzma. Nice. Nice. Alright, so Naganadel is going to get these uh, energy attached to it. Quagsire is going to move these two energy. And then he will knock out my Scizor. Which is okay because I have the energy here to use my GX attack, the Crosscut GX, to do 200 damage to uh, Bench Pokemon. What is he doing? Oh, so he's going to wash out. Okay. Yeah, so he's going to wash out, get everything into the active. So Scizor is still going to win the game. Down here, I'm just going to go for the crosscut GX. Knock it out. He's going to play the Ace Rolla to scoop up probably one of his Naganadels. Which is okay by me. I don't see how that's going to help him win the game. He will take two prize cards from knocking out the Scizor. But it just allows me to bring in another Scizor. And we are going to hit him up with that Crosscut GX for the W. 1-0 with Scizor with the changes. Alright, so that is a first W of the day. 25 Pokecoins, which helps me get some booster packs. And I got a long way to go before I get to the Acerola. Alright, so let's pick up another game here. All right, let's see. We got ourselves Psychic Fighting and Colorless. We're probably playing Buzzgarb. All right, so Tails never fails. Come on. Oh, we are 0-2 on the coin flips today. All right. Um, I guess, you know what? I'm okay with Kartana as a lead. If it means I keep my Lele on my bench so that I can search out, um, what is it called? Lily. If I can search out Lily turn one, then you know what? I'll keep my Lele in my hand. Um, I have an Ultra Ball, which means I can get rid of Acrobike and Potown, potentially. As we see Buzzwool GX. Oh boy, yeah, we're playing Buzzgarb. Two Buzzwool GXs. Not what I like to see. As he's going to copycat. First time I've seen that played in a while. Alright. Now he's going to Acrobike, start getting his stuff going. He's got Rock Ruff, Lycan Rock? Oh, we're playing Buzz Rock. Alright, Buzz Rock. Interesting. Alright, so... Oh, perfect. We got a Scyther. That is nice. Getting a Scyther is nice. Uh, we'll grab ourselves another Acrobike just for deck thinning. Uh, double colorless energy. Unfortunately, it does cost me two Cynthia so far. Uh, we're going to play Potown here. We're going to go play our Tapu Lele GX. We're going to search our deck for a supporter card. I do not play Ace Roll in this deck, unfortunately. I should. I'm really thinking I should be playing one. All right, um, okay, so we got a nest ball, so we're going to get some Scyther onto the bench. Great ball, what are we going to get off the great ball? We're going to get ourselves a Delmize. I need the Delmize to do as much damage as I possibly can this game. And that will be it. I need to find a way to get Kartana out of there.
Let's see. So he's gonna attach a second energy. I need to start damaging his stuff. Because I need to start getting knockouts here because this thing can do some serious damage with Absorption GX. So we're gonna get one Scyther into play. We're gonna get two Scyther into play. Uh, we're gonna Cynthia our hand. All right, so we got ourselves a second Delmize, which is not bad. So that gives me some hope to do some serious damage. I do get the Guzma in hand, which is nice. So I can take out a big Buzzwool, or baby Buzzwool. As here comes the Lycanroc GX. If he attaches an energy this turn, I am losing a Scizor. He's gonna judge his hand, oh boy. So he has one energy in the discard. I am hoping he has no energy. Come on, you didn't draw one. You didn't draw an energy. He's gonna Brooklyn Hill, he's gonna probably search out Diancy Prism Star, not surprised. Oh my God. Really? Man, top decks and energy. Well, I'm going to get Lele out. He used his GX attack, which is okay. It's fine. Uh, I guess we're going to have to try to win this game with Tapu Lele. As we're going to Field Blower. We're going to blow away these Brooklet Hills. And we are going to Energy Drive. It's not going to take it out, but it's going to do a good chunk. 130 damage. So now I put him in a position to where if he knuckle impacts me, he will get the knockout, but he cannot attack next turn. It would allow me to set up my scissor. Let's see, Knuckle Impact will pick up a knockout, and you know what, that is probably gonna be game. Cause he can just beast ring if I knock it out, and I have really no outs to winning this game, so we're gonna have to just take that forfeit L. Really disappointed in that, that one made me frustrated. That he ends up top decking that energy off of there. If he didn't get the energy, uh, I would have had a much easier time about it, but that was just unfortunate. Hey, we finally won a coin flip, so we're gonna go first. All right, and we get Scyther, Scizor, Ultra Ball. We're taking on a Psychic deck. All right, so. The way I'm looking at it, I can get rid of Field Blower and a Sci uh, Scizor. For Lele, Lele into Lily. As we're playing Greninja, interesting. All right, so we got the Lele. We're going to play the Lele. We're going to grab ourselves a Lily. Kind of just a basic play in Pokemon nowadays for your turn one. Ultra Ball, Lele, Lily. Draw until you have eight cards. And you know what? This is a very good opening. Oh my goodness. So we're going to grab ourselves Potown, I think. Right? Yes? Maybe? Yeah, we're going to grab ourselves Potown. We're gonna play said Potown. We're gonna use the Great Ball. We're gonna search out another Scyther. So we got three Scyther on our bench. We have uh, pretty much a good chance to win the game if he does not play any Pokemon to his bench. If he does not play any Pokemon onto his bench, uh, I'm in a happy mood, but looks like he is trying to, which is unfortunate. Oh, yes, forfeit win. Okay, I take those. I still want to be able to showcase what the deck can do, uh, which I have not yet so far. So we're going to grab ourselves another game. One more game, one last game. We are two and one with the deck if we're including the forfeit win.
All right, so one more game with Scizor GX. Now this is a deck I play at R IRL. I love it uh, simply because you can really take advantage of its ability to hit very big numbers, take out Zoroarks. There always are some changes as that is an awful opening. That is legit awful. Because he's going to open up with an Eevee. Uh, I guess I'll get a Choice Helmet. We're going to Acrobike again. Uh, this is just bad. This is just awful. This is a brick. Okay, so we got a Nest Ball, so we got a Scyther. So with Scyther, we can attach a double color, or a metal energy. Search out another Delmise. Okay, this is not bad. We're making plays happen. We're gonna Ultra Ball the two cards in my hand away. We're gonna grab ourselves uh, Oranguru, I guess. So that I can draw three, have some cards in my hand for next turn. Lele is unfortunately prized. Uh, but you know what, with Oranguru, we do get three cards into our hand, which set us up very decently for next turn, in all honesty. Alright, so one thing I will need potentially is a Guzma. That's the way I'm really looking at it. If I get a Guzma, I can switch. That's the way I'm looking with that's the way I'm looking at it. Uh come on, I don't want him to waste time. I'm just trying to see my outs here. Uh Guzma, I guess, helps me as he's just gonna pass turn. Okay. We're going to get ourselves another Scyther. We're going to attach to I Cynthia here. We're going to Oranguru first. We're going to Oranguru for one first. So we get a Nest Ball. Okay, so Nest Ball will give me another Scyther. Uh, we're going to Cynthia because I want Scyther GX. I don't, or it's not Scyther GX, Scizor GX, and a Guzma, as he just forfeits. Never mind, so I'm not going to be showing you that. We're going to go one more game here. Uh, that is for me to try and get uh, a more stable game. I haven't really played a full game. I have not played a full game yet, other than that first game. Alright, so we're going to flip tails. So we're going to try this final game for today. And hopefully it ends up working. That is two games I've actually bricked. New family dog just decided to jump off my bed. Alright, so we're playing Dark Deck. Do not tell me we're playing Guzzlord. I am going to be frustrated as hell if he flips over a Guzzlord. All right, flip over your card and let me see. You're gonna draw what, one? Okay, so he opens up with a Lele. I have a chance. I have a chance. We're gonna get Delmize. We're gonna go all offense here. We're all offense at this point right now. So one, we're gonna choice band. We're gonna play the Lele. We're gonna grab ourselves a Lily. We're gonna draw until we have eight cards in our hand. And then I will, mar I'm gonna try to play as many cards as I can off this lily, and then I'm gonna Marsh Shadow to really disrupt him. Well, so much for Marsh Shadowing, in all honesty. We're gonna end our turn. So I'm in a position to where I get a Scizor GX next turn. He is going to Nest Ball. 
He is going to Nest Ball. He's playing a Dark deck. The only Dark GX deck. I mean, he could be playing something like Hoopa. Oh, Zorua too. All right, so let us see. He also goes for the Lily play. He gets himself a Vulpix. All right, so perfect. We got Potown. Potown allows me to get Scizor into play. I see the choice band on there. Zoroark is the main attacker in Nine Tails decks. All right. Uh, does anything here help me? I could Ultra Ball the Guzma and the Marsh Shadow away for another Scizor so that I can get going and then use a Ranguru and then followed by a Tate and Liza. So that's what I'm actually going to do. We're going to get rid of these two. We're going to grab ourselves another Scizor. <coughs> Oh, man. Don't know how I was choking. Oh, even better, we actually got a Cynthia. And a Metal Energy. Not bad. <coughs> oh, is that better? Yeah, oh, something's up with my throat. Alright, so we're gonna Steel Wing. For... 100 and no 130 damage and my voice is now back to normal don't know why don't know what happened there but you know what we are uh, gonna be okay with that we're gonna be better and hopefully uh, not dying So there is a Zorark GX into play. He did blow away the, uh, what is it called? Why am I blanking? What is that thing called? Potown. So he's going to go into Zorark. Unfortunately, he doesn't have enough Pokemon onto his bench that would uh, put enough damage on board so that my scissor can just use his GX attack. Actually, no, I can use my GX attack and win. So I still will be able to use my GX attack. I will be able to show you guys that, hey, I can kill Zoroark. Uh, okay, so he's going to slap a choice ban. He's going to Lily, draw a bunch of cards. That is okay. All right, so let's see. He's going to get himself a double colorless energy. Uh, not sure where he is going with this. Uh, pretty sure he actually just loses this game. Uh, so he's gonna go for the trade. Now the Zoroark plays where the day game takes longer than it actually should. He's probably gonna get himself another Zerua. Throw that down on the bench off the top deck. No, he does not. Interesting. Alright, so one, we're gonna get ourselves a second Scizor going. We're gonna go for the Cynthia. See if there's anything in my hand that could be of any use. Choice bands. Choice Helmets, we get ourselves another Potown in case he does want to evolve these things. And we're going to go for the Crosscut GX for the Knockout because I have the two Delmise on my bench. That is 220 damage, no Choice Band needed. And we get ourselves another Field Blower and an Acrobike. Alright, so looking at this, he has the counter gain onto his Eevee. So he will be able to use a fairy energy to do big damage to my scissor or 70 damage to my scissor and 30 to my bench. He's also playing a rock, lichen rock. Very, very, very interesting here on what cards he's playing with nine tails. It's also a deck that I want to be able to bring you guys is the nine tails GX. The issue with nine tails GX is the fact that it is so expensive right now. I think they are going for 15 packs right now. 15 to 20 packs. It's just an absurd price for Alola Ninetales. And there's a couple of Ninetales decks with Decidueye, Solgaleo that can be used, Buzzwool. It's just getting the Ninetales is so expensive right now. Uh, especially early on in the set. It's just really expensive to get a hold of one. Uh, looking at my opponent's plays, probably nothing he can really do. We have ourselves a second Scizor set up. 
we are going to just acrobatic here. We're just going to be doing a little bit of deck thinning. Uh, try to see if I can get to some of the cards like uh, Choice Man, for so to say. Uh, we're going to attach it on my Scyther down here. And we're going to knock out this Alolan Vulpix with the Steel Wing. And we're going to be up 3-6. to six. As my opponent pretty much has no more plays left for the left for this I knock out Lele I knock out um, Vulpix alright Come on. All right, so he's just gonna end up forfeiting and that will be a three in one day with our loss being that forfeit that I had to take to Buzzwool. Um, is Scizor a great deck? No, I don't think it's at the top of the meta, uh, especially when you have stuff like Placephalon being used right now. It's still a little bit fodder to that. Is it a fun deck to play? Uh, from my experiences on TCGO and IRL, I love it. Uh, you can. Take less damage from hits with Choice Helmet and the Scizor uh, Steel Wing along with the Baby Scizor's ability. It's just a deck that, you know what, hey, I think it's fun to play. I don't think it's gotten better in the meta. Ditto's helped it. Uh, not having Professor Elm's lecture doesn't does really hurt it to getting uh, Scizor out onto the bench. But it's a deck that, hey, if you want something fun, relaxed to play... Go ahead, try it out. It, you can get scissors for a couple packs, which isn't very expensive. Uh, but with all that being said, guys, I am Johnny GB with the Token Minorities, and I am signing out.